Uh, this is a beer resist. What, what's the story behind so, this beer? My name is Roman. I was a blogger for Ukrainian beers before uh, full-scale invasion started. This this is the collaboration that resist brewed by Brussels Beer Project. A uh, recipe was uh, created in Ukraine on the start of the war by the um, uh, one of the members of the Varvar team, uh, Lana Svitankova, the beer judge, but also the other brewers participated. Idea was uh, to motivate brewers from different countries. Project was called Drinkers for Ukraine uh, to brew for Ukraine. Uh, so most of this beer were in some way uh, then uh, support uh, the humanitarian purposes mainly uh, or any other volunteers. And the original idea was the beetroot stout, but uh, Brussels Beer Project turned into something, something special. So they brewed in the way of key of cake. So this is pretty famous cake with hazelnuts and uh, meringues. Uh, and they turned there, so it's called Ukrainian anti-imperial stout. <laughs> and uh, proceedings went at that time to Ukrainian Red Cross uh, and this is Kyiv Cake inspired beer. So I decided to share also this beer already sold out. It was two years, three or two years ago. And uh, this I brought uh, from my basement also to share to Warver team because they never tried this. Uh, I know it will be you here. I also will share to BBP. I found not everyone in BBP tried this. So I want, I, I propose to try it here. And also for beer idiots, I have extra glass too, so I can share okay, to you good, good. that every beer drinker here has the extra glass. Yeah, three, I've got like three or four festivals. Wonderless, you know, oops. Oops. Oh, we almost lost a few there. No, probably not. <laughs> Those glasses cannot. Okay, here I got the opening. Burp, 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 burp. So, to... Did they add the beetroot? So, this is instead of beetroot, they used... Uh, uh, the, 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 the hazelnut. The, 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 the hazelnut, cocoa and vanilla. Okay. So, they kind of mimicked... Uh, the, they twisted it, okay. Yeah, they twisted instead. So, cheers. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And by the way, it's one of the greatest BBP brews ever. Wow. Yep. Lovely take. That's the way I love my studs. <laughs> Cognac like style, yeah. Very intense. So, do you think they'll be, given its popularity, do you think they'll be making any more? Um, I think that they will be brewing new brews, but um, I still, by the way, maybe by this blog, you would be able to engage, uh, also, people who would like to look to your blog would engage to brew more resist. So, program never, never gone. You still can promote, and that's a message to every brewer or beer geek that would be watching this. Uh, promote brew for Ukraine. It doesn't matter if you actually proceed to humanitarian or no. Awareness right now is the key. After two years of intense war, people starting to forget. But war is going worse, and uh, people need to be aware that that still happens and this happens in the middle of the Europe and uh, brewing for Ukraine making message making a statement it's important I'm super I would be personally always super happy if the brewers will make a money by promoting uh, news about Ukraine and awareness about Ukraine if they, you brew for volunteer it's even more amazing but just brew for Ukraine and we hear that call and we hope somebody takes it up and we need to be aware in this uh, yeah it's getting swamped by a lot of other